How's it going, everybody? IS Reaper 31, and I'd like to welcome you to my new series. I'm gonna take a little break from uh, the Everton career mode uh, just because of, well, basically the patch three update, and we've been out having difficulty with the sliders, and I just uh, not comfortable playing a game. So I thought I'd do something a little different to really get some career modes out there. So basically. This is going to be a sim type career mode where I don't play any of the matches. I just simulate the res the games. Uh, we'll do real time simulations and go from there. Uh, as you can see, our first team starting off in the United States playing for the MLS is the now extinct Chivas USA. Basically. The MLS bought the ownership here in the beginning of the year, and and they called me up and says, Derek, you've got one season to turn this thing around, get the fans involved, or we're going to have to fold this team. So I'm going to do my best to take this team to the playoffs and do that. We'll go over the objectives here real quick. As you see, our domestic chances, uh, they love us to get the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open Cup. Our league objective this season, they want us to reach the quarterfinals. So if we may be able to get into the playoffs... And get to the quarterfinals, uh, Chivas may be still around. You'll never know. Uh, there's a quick look at our scouts. Our scouts say we should definitely look for a fullback. I definitely agree. We are very short on fullbacks at this time. Let's just take a look at the scouting report, what we got here. Just some prospects we got lined up. <laughs> so anyway, let's show you the team that I've... Uh, already uh, gone in here and set up now this is base this is basically the team I think the best team we can put out so far I've got Torres who's our best player at striker I've got Borash playing our Bora playing on the left wing I got Bonales on the right Rivero's gonna play at cam and then I'm gonna play with two center backs our center defensemen sorry with Rio Coker and Pellerini in the back, we got Boca Negra and Hurto, Hurtato. John Baptiste is going to play on the left, and Kaji is going to play on the right, obviously with Kennedy and Goal. So I'm excited to see what this series is going to be all about. Uh, be with a through all the trials and tribulations. Oh, you know what I like to do first? You know, I still want to look for new talent, so we'll go ahead and hire a scout. And we'll just pick best available. This is Caleb guy. Sounds good. Yes. And he's going to be our scout for the season. Ah, oh, man. Well, let's go. Let's, uh, there's going to be a lot of me going just micromanaging through the, man through the career mode, doing all kinds of stuff, you know, looking, scouting players and doing all that fun stuff. As you can see, we've got a scout in Chile, a scout in the Americas. We've got a second scout here. And you might have noticed why I have such high judgment. Um, I'm using the mod by mod, of course, so that if you don't if you don't use it, you sh I recommend you do use it. You can find it at moddingway.com. And uh, I'm using version 1.5. Uh, and I'm actually using a different database. I'm using the Matrix database. Um, I'm trying it out. I've never actually done use any of their databases before. Because typically I just do it for all the nice little Europa League and stuff. But my goal with this series is to take my manager, Mr. Ice Reaper 31, and start an MLS. I'm getting my break here through the league. Is appointed since they're the owners of the team now. They're going to appoint me as manager, and we'll see what we do. Uh, Let's see where I can send him. Uh, where do you want to go? Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's send him to Mexico. Since we still have strong ties to our parent club in Chivas, we can go ahead and scout some talent there. So we might as well go to Mexico and look for scouts there. I'm taking a look at what we got here. Let's uh, look at... We've got a lot of promising talent. Here we go. Raymond Gaddis, a right back. Oh, wait. Before I get too crazy, let's look at the instructions. They preset for us. They're looking for a any promising position, a promising playmaker, and a first-team right back. 
So, uh, let's, let's see what the scouting report says. Here we got some guys. Kansas Myers, a very good one. Raymond Gaddis. Okay. And I'm definitely going to scout these guys. Try to see if we can find a good player. Get some wages and whatnot. Chance Myers, Kansas City. He's a good player, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we're not scouting? Come on. There we go. Oh, he's expiring in 11 months, so we might be able to get him on the cheap. So we'll go ahead and scout those guys. Uh, let's see. First team playmakers. Definitely could go for some playmakers there. Uh, Brandon Dyke. Sure, why not? Luis Gill. Claudio Bieler. Yes. Kyle Beckerman. Ooh. Very nice. Okay, so I'm just going to scout whatever players we find, and that's where I'm going to look for players. I'm going to use the transfer network. Uh, well, we got some leftover. If we got enough, let's go ahead and keep scouting some of these other players. Fantastic. Okay. All righty. All right. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and just sim up ahead, uh, and probably we'll get an email saying, "Yep, our scout is a run has just arrived." Or our youth scout, I should say. Now I'm only gonna use one, just cause, and I want to set up in in America, obviously. And we'll send him for nine months just to scout talent. I want him to find the best talent out there. Yep, and he's scouting America for nine months. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. So, this episode, just a little setup, and then I'm probably going to try to go through the preseason matches quickly. So we'll go ahead and just advance. Okay. We'll go through the lineups here. Got some scout reports done. We'll worry about live the trader deadline. There's wanting me to get an international job. If I get a good offer, we'll see. He's scouting. He's scouting. Uh, we'll archive that one. Archive that one. Here you go. I'll put you over there as well. Okay, Caleb Calvert wants to play. We'll see. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. Take a quick look at the news here. As you see, we lost uh, one of our players, uh, Star Rolas, to uh, Vancouver. He must have been part of the Rio Coker deal. Eleven and a half million. Wow. We got a lot of money out of that deal. <laughs> okay. So, we already got our lineup set. Um, it's basically the best 11 I can think of. So, without further ado, guys and girls, this is going to be the first sim match of this career mode. So, we're going to do a preseason match at home against 1860 Mutin, which I believe is a Bundesliga team. So, we'll go out there and get that set up. And here we go, boys. They're also doing a 4-3-3. We'll see if we come out on top. The match has started. Come on, boys. Let's see what we got. And there's Rivera with a goal. Very nice. So already, good start here in the preseason. Cards going up. Oh, they equalize. Hmm. Oh, come on, boys. Let's get another goal. Come on. You can do it. Yellow card. Oh, Bora. Goal. Yes. So there we go, boys. Fantastic first game at home. We did very well, as you can see. 2-1 victory at home. I'm liking what I'm seeing. So we'll go ahead and advance. And just like that, easy peasy. We can really breeze through these seasons quickly. 
All right, just so I don't forget, I'm gonna save it real quick. All right, we're back. And here we go, let's keep simulating here. And then we play in against UA uh, Lagostrera. Guess on the Spanish side? I could be wrong, but that definitely looks kind of Catalanian in their colors. And uh, as you can see, some more changes to squad. I rotated some players around. Um, I'm going to bring Barrera in and Burling in. Uh, also going to switch the formation up a little bit. Uh, get some more wide players, see if that'll help. Uh, all in all, I'm going to keep most of the same players in the matchup. So let's go ahead and sim this match as well and see what we get. Let's keep, let's keep it going. So far, so good. They're running a 4-4-2 as well. Ah, uh, they score in the fifth minute. Rio Torres strikes back. There we go. Eleventh minutes. Oh, Torres has been sent off in the twenty-eighth minute. Oh no, we're down to ten men. Can we hold on to a draw at least? Oh man, substitution time. Oh, Bolanis off the bench scores. Oh, but they get an equalizer late. Oh, Bolanis came off the bench. And we couldn't click it away, but there it is. 2-2 two -two draw on the road. I'll take that. Pretty good result to start for the season. All right. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll do this again. I'll be back one second. Don't you worry. And we're back. Okay. Go ahead and simmer up. Ooh, we have a Serie A matchup against Katina. Interesting. Also got some emails to ponder through. A lot of scouting done, which is good. And I'm just gonna get them scouted up now, and then I'll worry about it. Worry about. Uh, you know, looking at them more closely during the transfer transfer uh, market. So, okay, as you can see in the news, always fans rejoice after our first victory. Very nice. I'm gonna take a quick look at the squad. Um, a couple of changes. I'm gonna put Toyi on the left back. I'm gonna bring her Tato back at uh, center back there, and. Uh, We'll see how that goes. We'll try that out in our last preseason game. Let's hopefully keep it up. So, sim this match as well. And here we go. Home match. Let's see what we can do. Rocking the 4 through 3 against us. Starting out. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Ah, Borag gets another goal. Nice. He's had a great preseason so far. Torres with another yellow. Barrera gets a goal. Nice. And could we pitch a shutout possibly? Could we possibly have a shutout in mind? And we get the shutout at home. Very nice. So, I would say Bora definitely was um, player of the uh, preseason. We'll go ahead and move forward here. And I think I'm just going to simulate up to the fr first of the month here. After we do some more scouting here, obviously. Keep focusing on the right backs here. Make sure we keep everybody busy with scouting. Definitely need that fullback. I, I believe I only have one really good right. I only have one right back on my team, so we could definitely go for another one. Just quickly go through all these. Just scout all these potential playmakers that we could use on our team. good players to check out here.
Eh, it's too busy. Okay, fair enough. Okay, that's good for now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom up to the first of the month here. And we'll take a quick look at uh, how the first month of the season panned out. We'll take a look at the stats. All right, let's see if that got us to where we need to go. Go into the squad report. Okay, there you go. We'll sort through here. Goalkeepers. Kennedy. Oh, wow. Look at Sp Spranger went up by four. We've Kennedy went up by one there. Kind of glitched out when I sorted it. Kaji went up by one. Herta went up by two. Spranger went up by one. This is definitely the Matrix at its finest, as you can see. Wow. Plus five. Plus eight. Holy crap. 69 rated. Ugh. Oh, look at Coker. He went down by two, though. We have to keep an eye on that. Oh, so did we have to admit our center backs, our center defensemen, sorry, are quite old. So the the matrix not going there. Delgado got one. Minda didn't grow. Vila Chavez, a right mid, six, three, two. Torres did not grow. Kind of disappointing there. Corda got one, three. Wow, look at Tyrek went up plus ten. Holy crap. <laughs> Calvert went up nine. Where did uh, Bora go? He went up three. He had a good preseason, I thought. He looked really good. Okay. I'm going to end the episode there, guys. Uh, ho hoping you're going to enjoy this series. I think it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be actually be, you know, it won't be as much gameplay as I'd like, but, you know, maybe when everyone, I get the sliders back, we'll go back right into that, our, my Everton career mode. But until then, we're just going to fill the voids in with this uh, series. So, uh, hope you guys liked, and I'll see you next time.